Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode one of a brand new Transport Fever 2 Let's Play. If you guys are new to the series, definitely check out some of the older ones on my channel page. And if you're a returning viewer, I hope you're excited for a brand new series. And without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into episode one. So, if we just zoom out here a little bit, we are starting in 1870. This is a huge map. So it's a 20 kilometer by 20 kilometer map. We are using European names and vehicles. Um, and if you're interested in how to get the uh, huge and megalomaniac size maps, uh, you just have to go into the um, Transport Fever 2 file and just edit it and allow the experimental map sizes. There are tons of uh, YouTube videos online to uh, show you how to do that and what it what it gives you is just enormous maps. And the nice thing about that is I, I wanted a playthrough where things were a bit more spread out. So we have low, um, low city tendency and low industrial tendency, which allows everything to be a bit more spaced out, but on a huge map. So there's still a ton for us to do. So, um, we were just following, you know, a, a cart here in Tenerden. Um, and the reason for that is that's where we're going to start. So, Tenerden demands construction materials and food. And we could do a little construction materials right here. But then there's more. There's more that I want to do around here in Tenerden. So, let's get started here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a little road here. Going uh, from this stone quarry up to the construction materials plant. So, we'll come down here in uh, roads. I actually don't know what the... Yeah, road. Rail. Water. <laughs> We'll come down here in roads and we'll grab our road. We'll go curved road tool. Come up here to our options. I want to turn off costs because those are kind of annoying. And then we'll come in here to our terrain view so that we can kind of get a, uh, you know, a bit better of an idea. And I'm already going to call a mulligan on that road because what I want to do a little bit is kind of uh, respect the, the natural boundary of you know, some of these wood lines, because inevitably, if you're building a road, it would be a lot cheaper to just go where, uh, you know, nature wants you to go rather than fight it the whole time. So I think we'll, uh, we'll do our best to kind of avoid plowing through whenever possible. So we'll just kind of curve this around here and then bring it up here. And then let's just see where we want to connect in. I think we'll probably bring a straight road out here. And then we'll bring it down this hill. And connect it in down here. Should be able to get a nice connection there. Okay, perfect. So now we have this road set up. And this will allow us to get a nice uh, station on here. Nice 30 meter platform station. Let's see, I might, uh, might go ahead and put that in like right there. And then if we come up here, we'll do the same thing. Except this one I want to leave so it can be expanded in the future. You know, you, you never know where uh, stuff is going to be delivered. So let's get another platform on there. This is going to need a second row for the trucks to drop off the stone and then also to deliver the materials and already I don't like where that's placed so another mulligan it's just a day of mulligans so let's come into here we'll get another cargo platform and then let's see I could probably fit one more and then if we get our road exit that should line up nicely with that uh, entrance So let's get those in there, and then we'll come in here with our roads, and we'll connect these up. So now that's connected, so let's go ahead and establish a new line. We'll come down here in the line manager, and we'll just get a new line running up there. This will be dark gray for the stone, and we want them to wait forever. And uh, I'm going to change up the naming configuration. Rather than putting the start and stop, I'm just going to put the stops. It should just be a little bit easier um, 
you know, to locate. So this will just be tenored in stone. And now we're going to need a depot. And I want to put all the depots in the cities. You know, I've had people say that it's kind of a waste that it, uh, you know, takes up valuable space in the cities. Um, but it's just the way that I, it's just the way that I like to do it. So I'll come in here. This is kind of our industrial area. So I, I want to, I want to try and find a good spot for it. So what if we spin this around like this? Just kind of get it in there. And now let's buy some vehicles here. So there is a road running all the way out here. So it will work. So let's come in here to cargo. And let's uh, let's find something to move the stone. Why don't we go with these flatbeds? So why don't I get... I'll probably get like 20 of them. Sounds like a lot, but I think, uh, I think that's what we're going to want. So now if we let that play, we'll see our wagons coming out there. And now we're going to need to drop off the construction materials here in town. So why don't I drop them maybe here? So we can get a new line in here. And they'll bring them up here. And it's red, which is great. It's at the right platform, which is also very good. And it'll just come up here and drop off the construction material. So this will be uh, Tenerden construction materials. And with these European names, if I start to butcher these names, by all means, let me know. Um, maybe we'll get eight vehicles on here. You know, I'm I'm from the United States, and we have a we have a certain way of talking about things that I know probably drives a lot of people up a wall. Uh, but that being said, I think this is going to be a good uh, a good setup. So we'll get some we'll get some stone going. This is already you know starting to fill up with some stone, which will be good. And then uh, yeah, so that's going to run nicely. Now, what we could also do is deliver some construction materials in here to Asker. And the way that we could do that is we could utilize this stop. Now, man, it's just mulligans for days here because I didn't even think that I was going to do that. But now that I think about it, I think it would be a good idea. So why don't we add in a station here? You're going to see why I moved it in a second. The reason is that I'm going to actually expand it to allow for deliveries down to, uh, where is that, Askern, I think. So if we just connect that up, that fixed the stone line, stone line's functioning. But what this is gonna allow us to do is these stone trucks are just gonna pick up some construction materials here on their way back, drop them here, and then we can actually have a line deliver them down here into, into Askern. So let's see, uh, probably have them drop off right about there, I think. I think that that would work. So let's get this delivery set up. We'll make it like a red color. And I want these trucks to wait forever before they head up or uh, head out to Askern. So this will be Askern Conmat. And why don't we just uh, go ahead and get a depot in here. That way we don't have to send the vehicles all the way from that other city, Tenerden. And we can go ahead and get some vehicles on here. So we'll go with these flatbeds as well. Maybe, maybe four of them. We'll see how it does. And we'll go ahead and throw those on that line. And look at this absurd line of trucks heading up here. To, uh, to go pick up stuff. Okay. So we can speed this up a little bit. And while that all gets itself running, I also want to get this fuel set up. You're probably wondering, like, where are we delivering fuel? Tenerden doesn't need fuel. Askern doesn't need fuel. There are a couple places that actually do. One of them is down here, Skelton in Cleveland. And the other is up here at Ferry Hill. I think we're going to go up to Ferry Hill first. Actually, now that I think about it, the terrain is pretty bad. 
So Fairy Hill is going to wait. We're going to go down here to Skelton and Cleveland first. And truthfully, terrain's not much better, but we'll make it work. So how are we going to do that? We're going to establish this fuel right here. And then we're going to run a train line down here to deliver it in Skelton. So how do we want to do that? I'm kind of thinking we'll move the oil, the crude oil by rail up here, drop it at a station here, truck it over, truck it back, and then train the fuel all the way through this station down here to Skelton in Cleveland. That's what I think we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And let's get a pass through station in here. Let's see, if I made it 240 meters. I kind of put it in like right there. How would that work? So let's see, if I come through here, just make that flat. I don't really like the way that that's doing it, so... Let's put that in, and then let's see if I can curve that in. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, so now we have this station here. I'm going to add another track to it so that it can pass through on its way back without uh, going into that station. Now, we're also going to need a pass-through station up here. Let's see, where does that go? Okay, that goes up to that industry, so I do want to replace that. But for now, we'll leave it where it's at. Let's see, if I put this station in maybe right here. And then we come through here with the road. Like that. We'll get rid of this, and then I'll come through behind this and reconnect that road. Because you know that this doesn't matter, but I like to have my roads connected up. For whatever reason. I don't know why, it's just what I... It's just what I like to do. So let's connect that up. Okay, so now that we have this established, let's go ahead, let's add on another track here. And then let's get our track coming out. We'll keep it flat so that we can merge this in. Maybe we'll do a 50 mile an hour, 50 mile an hour merge. We'll run this straight. How's that road connection look? Looks pretty good. And now we just need to get this over here. So now before I put that in, I'm just gonna pull this out straight just a little bit so we can get our 50 mile an hour merge. Now let's see what this wants to do. Let me just see, so if I get that out to there, that road crossing looks okay, but now we can connect that up And that looks really good. Okay, so now what do we need to do? We need to figure out a way to truck the oil over here. So we're gonna need an Accrade Crossing. So let's put that in there. 
that. And now we'll just follow the contours over here. We'll T in there. I'll back this out a little bit. I just realized I had this pause that whole time. And then we'll curve that in there. And now what this will allow us to do, if we kind of curve around like this, just pull that straight in there. That should allow us to now get a platform in here to deliver the fuel. And maybe I'll put it in over here. How would that look? So if I add this in here, we'll add on a couple platforms, and now this is going to just run this fuel, or this crude oil rather, right up here. So what if I spin this around and just kind of get it right in here? So now we should be able to establish a new line to deliver the crude and the oil. Let's make it black. And now this is going to be Tenerden, what is this, crude and oil? Crude and oil. And now if we get a new line to bring the oil up here, This will also be delivering fuel, so I'll make it orange. And I don't want them to wait for forever. We'll have them wait for a full load for maybe five minutes. And this is Tenerden crude for now. It's going to be crude and fuel. Uh, but for now, this is that's all it is. So let's come through here. Let's take a look at our terrain and see if we have a spot where we could put a siding. We could put one in like right here. So maybe if I put that in right there and then we come through here and get a one of these rail sidings. Put that in there. Make this flat the whole way. And then let's see how that merge is going to be. So it's coming down a little bit. So it'll be a flat merge here, and then it will do whatever it wants to do to connect up into there. And now let's get a signal on here. We want a non-one-way signal. We'll put it on like right there. So now we should be able to get a train. Now we're gonna have to borrow a little bit of money to get this train. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got the D13 and the Borsig uh, starting in 1870. So the Borsig is a superior train for sure. So let's get that. And maybe we'll get eight cars on there. Yeah, maybe we'll get eight. Let's go ahead and make that, that orange color. And now the Borsig should come out here, and let's see if this... Oh, we need to get some trucks on that delivery route first. So cargo trucks uh, to move crude and oil. Why don't we get six? And we'll throw them on this crude and oil route. So now this is recognizing this refinery. Nice. Nice. And these trucks are making their way. We 
we've got these ones waiting here. Okay, so now this is going to be a problem. So why don't we sell a few of these? Just so that they don't clog up. And then once the whole thing kind of gets running, we can add in some more trucks. Some more vehicles. So these are making their way down there with some stone. These are making their way onto this line. And let me just see here. Let me just make sure. Yeah, they're waiting for a full load. Perfect. And they'll take back whatever's available. And now this is moving with a full load of crude. Let's see. It's still getting up to speed. But I think that this is going to work pretty well. And so now we just need to extend this line down here to Skelton in Cleveland. And it looks like the industrial and the, uh, what do we want to call this? The commercial is in here. So why don't I get another road? Just help them out a little bit. I really want that to be at a right angle. So why don't we extend that out, pull that in, and then get rid of that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put in a cargo, uh, cargo station right here. So I'll put that in like right there. And that will allow us to continue this road out, which I think will be helpful. And now we'll just come through here with some tracks. And I actually want to add on probably another track here, just in case there's pass through in the future. And interestingly enough, we have a little bit of a hill here. So that'll be interesting to see how we can get through there. But I think for now, we'll get this hooked up 50 miles an hour again. And now let's see what this wants to do here. So it wants to tunnel. And honestly, I'm, I'm okay with that. So let's do a tunnel through there. And now we want to work our way up here. So we're going to kind of come through this little valley area. So let's pull that back a little bit. Curve around here. Come straight through here. Wants to bridge over this. So I think what I'll do, so if I bring it... To about here and we make that land I'll bring it over here with a bridge and then we can make that land again I think that that will look good Why don't I pull this back a little bit so that we can get a good 75 mile an hour curve through there. And now there's going to be some, it's going to be some grade here. So why don't I borrow a little bit more money? pause this for a minute because what I think I'm going to do is if I back this out a little bit and start this climb a little bit sooner Now 
I'm just trying to get a good uh good climb through here. Let me see if we make that fill. What does that look like? It's not bad. It's a pretty aggressive climb, but I think I'm just trying to get this climb to be fairly moderate. What if I grab this here? And we keep that flat. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this road for a minute. Just so that I can get a good idea of where we're going. Keep that flat, and then what if I take this down and connect this in here? That looks pretty good. So now if we come out of here, we want to fix this so that it's a little bit nicer of a crossing. And then we also need to reestablish this road here. So we'll make this kind of at a 90 there. And now we should be able to deliver, so if we take this line, so after Trenton Branch, go all the way down to here. And then it's going to need a way back in here. So let's grab this. There we go. So now that's gonna function, or at least it should. So now, once this gets, let's see, we got any coming back with some oil? Yeah, this one has some oil. And I'm going to take advantage of this really quick. I'm going to add on a couple more cars. But now this should function. Let's see how we're doing up here. We're getting some construction materials piling up here. And they're dropping some back here, which is good. Let's see, these are getting delivered in. They haven't gotten any yet. What about Tetterton? Tetterton got they've gotten a few. So we could now come in here to Tetterton. Maybe add on like two more. Two more trucks, two more wagons. I don't know what you want to call them. But this is working. Okay, so now this should start to, yeah. Skelton in Cleveland, perfect. So now, let's see, this is Tetterton. Tetterton to Skelton, crude and fuel. So we'll just uh, rename that line a little bit because it's doing multiple things. Truthfully, it might be better to break this up because that's a pretty long line. Just to have one train bouncing back and forth, bringing the crude in and then one train bringing it down to Skelton. That might be a better, uh, that might be a better move here, so. Borrow a little bit more money here. We'll 
I'll add on a couple tracks just for future. And then another platform. So we'll add those in there. And I'll double up this track. Maybe through here. Maybe to like there. See, if I make that a double switch and then get rid of this portion. So now that's going to carry on like that. And I'm going to change this up a little bit. So that we can actually get our cross in right here. And we'll go to 75 miles an hour. Now we'll connect those in and then those. So now that line should be functioning. And now what I want to do is I want to add some one-way signals in. So we'll add one in there. We'll add one in there. We'll add some signals in there. And now that should be functioning. So now this is going to be skeleton fuel. And I want to take out this stop. So now it's not going there. And I want them to wait for a full load for maybe that long. And now we'll set up this new line here. I'll have these guys stop at one and these guys stop at two. I'll make this one teal. And I want them to wait forever. And this is going to be Tetterton. Uh, let's see. Tetterton crude. There we go. Okay. So now, vehicles. This one. Go on to that line. And I'm going to change you to be that color. I don't know where that train is. It's on his way back. So he should stop. Should pull right into this station. And then keep doing what he's doing as before but now we need to get a new train onto this line so we're gonna need to borrow a little bit more money here to buy a new train so let's get a borsig it's only 300 that's a really good deal and let's get maybe eight cars on there make him orange and put him on that line Perfect, just like that. And I'm, I'm wondering what's gonna happen here. He's probably gonna pull up here. Let's fix this road while we're at it. that we get a little bit better uh, 
crossing here. So we'll connect those up. Let's see, I just need a little bit more money. There we go. And then that's going to be 9,000. There we go. Okay, just a little bit, a little bit better crossing. And yeah, this uh, this slope is pretty extreme. But let's see. Okay, so he stopped up there. Interesting. Now he's gonna go. This guy's full, so he's just waiting for this train to pass, and then he should make his way up there, up to Tetherton. Tetherton? Tetherton. And let's see, so I want... Let's do a non-one-way signal. I want it to go in right here. Because I want this train to be able to start to make its way back, and if necessary, he can wait right here to then go through. Let's see, top speed of this, 28. What's he doing right now? Soon 25. It's not bad. It's not terrible. Let's see how this is running. This could use a few more construction materials trucks. So could this. Let me see, I'm going to borrow a half a million so I can put this uh, signal in here. And then I'm also going to buy a couple, a couple more vehicles here. So why don't we get maybe two more on there. And then if we come down here, we can get a couple more on here. And now we have 160 left. Get rid of a couple of those so he can run a little bit better. So now that Borsig will head all the way back up here. This is kind of this guy's doing his thing, just moving back and forth here. He should make pretty decent money. We could add on a couple more cars if we wanted to. I just don't want to bog down the speed too too much. So we got 31 fuel on there right now. If we come down to this guy, yeah, he can take 30. Let's see how badly he drops his speed here. I also think this looks really nice. Just this little bridge here as this train comes over. Let's see how that looks. I like that a lot. But anyway, if we speed this back up, I want to see how much speed he loses on his way back up here. He's going to start to hit the incline right about here. And it's a pretty steep incline, yet yeah, down to 26, 25. A little bit of uh, wonkiness right here. 22. Down to 19, 18. Yeah, it's really, it's really hurting. And now he should just go straight through because there's no one in this block. 
And I don't think they're even going to interfere with one another. It's going to be close. But I think he should sneak through just fine. Because they're both going 28 now. Yeah, he had to slow down a little bit, but that's okay. So now, how much fuel are we getting on here? So I could come through here. And I can't add anything. I don't have enough money. That's okay, though. So he'll pick up 30 fuel and make his way down. I think this is working pretty well. Now what we could do... We could think about some passenger stuff. Probably not all the way up Tetterton to Skelton. That's going to have to be a rail line. That's pretty far uh, for, you know, trucks or carriages or whatever you want to say. Um... This is just about breaking even here. Could def we could definitely add a few more, a few more cars onto this onto this train. But we could think about some kind of a passenger route with carriages going between Askern and Skelt. That could work. That could definitely be a thing. That could definitely be a thing. Just taking a look at uh, how this stuff is running. It's making about 300 per drop-off. 313 per drop-off. That's pretty good. I am interested to see how well this gets paid when it finally gets here. And one thing that I was thinking about this line just now is that adding on a ton of cars I don't think would be the end of the world because it's going to go full down the hill and then it's going to come back empty. So it should be able to struggle its way up that hill fairly well. I don't know. We'll have to see. We might just have to wait until we have some better trains to be able to uh, make that run up this hill. I also really want to get a little bit more money so that I can kind of smooth out this, uh, this slope here. And it might be better to have them cross up here. Cross the, cross the, uh, the track up here rather than down here so that we don't get this kind of wonky looking at grade crossing. But either way. Alright, let's see how he did. So I think that was like a four. 480. That's pretty good. So let's pause real quick. Just because we got a little bit of money. And let's come into this and maybe add on another couple tank cars to that. That just ate up all of our cash. But I think this I think the Borsig should be able to handle it decently. It's, it's certainly not going to, you know, break any speed records, but I do think it will allow us to get a little bit more money out of this line. Because you can see that he's just barely making money, you know, each trip. And I stand corrected. If he can get two, two trips in, uh, I think he'll do just fine. Okay, so that'll be good. That'll work really nicely. All right, so we have a little bit of money now. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. So if I take this, if I kind of delete some of this road out. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to delete this all the way back to here because this needs to be connected up. So let's bring this up here, connect that in here, and now we can just run this. We 
we can just run this right down uh, the side of this track. That way we don't need to have the accurate crossing at all. So let's come through here. We'll just delete out this road. And now we'll connect these together. Just like that. And now, how does this look? It's still a little bendy. I don't know. I don't know how to... I don't have enough money to fix it right now, but I really want to fix it because it's still it's still not perfect. So this Borsig is coming back up the hill now. It's about to hit that hill. And these are definitely going to conflict with one another to some degree now. So one thing we could do is double track all the way down to here so that they branch off here. So let's see, that's going to fill up yeah, and he's going to leave now, which means this guy's going to stop right here. And he's not going to be able to go now until this Borsig makes it all the way to this split right here. Anyway. It'll all work itself out, I'm sure. This is working really nicely. Let's see how these lines are doing. So which one's... So it says that this is losing money. That's not true. Conmat lines say that they're losing money, which is kind of interesting. I don't know how much I believe that necessarily. Let me see if I take a look here. Finances. Yeah, it kind of it kind of comes and goes in waves depending on if they're on their way back or if they're on their way. Uh you know, on their way down. So, either way. Okay, so now he's making 375 per drop off, whereas before he's making 313. So, I think that's going to be pretty good. This has a full load that it's going to be able to pick up here in a minute, which will be nice. And I think this is working pretty well. I just want to get enough money to be able to fix this. Once I get that fixed, I'm going to be uh, much happier. So he took a full load, and now he'll head down to wherever he's going. And like, again, this line says that he's losing money. You know, this line's kind of messed up because this was the crude line to begin with, and now it's, now it's not, but... 480 yeah so even if he only got paid once every two years he'd still make money which is good but he is gonna have to wait here which is unfortunate gonna have to wait here for this guy to go by and we're really gonna need to get some more vehicles on here to produce more fuel Interesting. Okay. How's Askern doing? They're getting a decent amount of construction materials. It's starting to pile up here on this platform, which, uh, you know, kind of is what it is. This one's coping a little bit better. And I wonder... So Tetterden has 184 residents. They want 57. Yeah, Askern's smaller. Interesting. And it's a shorter distance to deliver. Kind of surprised that it's struggling the way that it is. It's got six vehicles. I guess this one does have eight, so... It does make sense. But 
But yeah, this is working pretty well. I think. I think this is a good start. We, get, we still have a ton of uh, loan that we can take out, which will be good so that we can really jumpstart what we're doing. But as far as future plans, so I want to also get fuel delivered up here to Ferry Hill. I think that that would be really useful. Um, as far as construction materials, I don't really want to use a rail line over here. I want to try and consolidate some of my lines a little bit. Um, you know, some games that I've played, the lines have been all over the place, just a jumble of lines going across the map. Um, but other places, you know, I just kind of want to get it to be a little bit more consolidated, I think would be a good way to, good way to think about it. So we just got 480 from that. We should have another train coming in. But, uh, you know, some future things like Carl Shelton. Carl Shelton. Man, that's going to be a tough one. Is uh, a prime spot for food delivery here. Um, Hive. Yeah, Hive wants fuel. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we can do around here to, uh, you know, really get things going in future episodes. But okay, let's see. Let's see if we can get this delivery. 163,000. Do we think that that's enough to fix this? Maybe. It might be. Let's see, I might regret this. If I grab this... Nope, that's going to be 300. How much is it going to be if we do fill? Eight. <laughs> um, okay. Well, that was a terrible decision. Let's fix it. Yeah, that was not smart. I thought I was going to have enough money to fix that, but I don't. So we're just going to fix it like that and just eat the cost. Man, that uh, was not smart. Let's see if we can recoup it a little bit by adding on a couple more. So that'll be 291 to add them onto that line. What if I add on one here and then I'm going to add on one here. Okay. Well, guys, I uh, hopefully I didn't just doom us with borrowing an unnecessary million. Uh, but hopefully we can get some stuff set up in the next episode to really start making a ton of money. And uh, I think this will all work out really nicely. So this is going to bring us to the end of this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, I'm really excited for this series. I'm really excited for just the size of this map. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and we're going to be able to get a lot of cool stuff done um and i think it's going to work really well so i hope you guys are enjoying it as i said and just remember let me know how i'm doing in the comments if you made it this far and you enjoyed the video uh definitely consider leaving a like and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one so subscribe for more videos and until next time have a great day thanks bye